Hello, I'm Srivats. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a beetroot cabbage curry. First of all, you need a pan. Wash it properly and then after that, clean it and keep it on the stove. On the stove and pour some oil inside. After that, you take some cumin seeds. You take some cumin seeds and dip it, throw it into the oil. After that, take some mustard seeds. After some time, take some mustard seeds. Take some mustard seeds and throw it in the oil as well. Wait for some time. After waiting, so first thing to pour in the oil is chili. So I gotta carefully do this. Oh no. Okay. I'll we'll just get all the chili. Mix a bit. Chili. Keep the onion. Cut some onion and also keep it inside. Mix it. Oh no. Okay, after you keep some garlic. Okay, now just keep the pan on and keep. All right, let's see if the onion is cooked. Seems it's slightly cooked. Now we will add a little bit of turmeric. Try your best to measure a quarter spoon of turmeric. After that, pour inside. Now let's add some curry leaves. After you have added the, after you have added the curry leaves, mix properly. After some time, close the lid and wait. After some time, you can add the cabbage. Let's just wait while the curry leaves gets cooked a bit. All right, all right, it seems the curry leaves are ready. Now, let's add some cur cabbage. So just carefully pour some cabbage inside. Alright, we have added the cabbage. Now we have to mix a bit. After that, close the lid and let it get cooked for 5 minutes. Alright, now that the cabbage is mixed, let's wait for it to cook. And close the lid. It's been 5 minutes. Let's see the cabbage. What's happening? Oh. It seems the cabbage is ready. It's almost cooked. Now we're going to add some beetroot. Beetroot provides us with a, a big source of folic acid, folic acid, fiber, magnesium, and potassium. So try your best to add this in your daily diet.
I'll mix it. Okay. After you have mixed the beetroot with the cat almost cooked cabbage, leave it. Cover it and wait for five minutes and wait for some time. Then continue mixing to not let it burn. Alright, let's check the status. It seems the beetroot is not beetroot is not cooked yet. I'm going to add some salt. And remember, the less salt, the better. So to me, I'm just going to add little bit of salt. After that, mix it well. After it's mixed, keep, keep it, let it, let the beetroot get cooked for another 10 to 15 minutes. Alright, let's see if the, okay, our curry, our food is ready. Wow, it's ready. Before, before we eat, let's garnish it with, let's garnish it with some greens. So I usually prefer to use coriander leaves and spring onions. But unfortunately, I don't have any coriander leaves. So I will just use spring onion. Alright, let's see if our dish is ready. Wow, it smells perfect. Let's try it. Let's mix a little bit first. After that, I'm going to taste Alright, now it's time to taste out my this dish. Mmm. Seems perfect to me. Mom. I hope my mother likes it. Thank you for watching this video. And also, um, cooking is not just preparing dishes. It's just cleaning. It's just it's also cleaning the dishes. After you have done, you are done preparing this dish. We be sure to clean all the di the, the things you have used. And now, while you all are happily going to try this good dish, I'm going to clean all the dishes. Thank you.